everyone welcome back to till vacuum do us part if you're new my name is Ashley welcome to my channel I need to do some cleanup in my household today we've been spending a lot of time outside because it's been so pretty but it's time to get this house under control I'm gonna try to show you the before so you can see what I'm working with but if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe now let's get straight into today's video So when I started off filming this cleaning video, I was not motivated at all. So I thought it would just be like a casual speed clean with me. I do a little bit of tidying up and be done, but sometimes cleaning up one room will get you so motivated to get the rest of the house done. So I'm showing you some before clips of my beauty room because it was by far the worst room in the house. So I wanted to go ahead and get that worked on just since I work in here so much. So if you're having a hard time getting motivated, just go clean up one space and it'll probably get you in gear to clean the rest of your house. It definitely helped with me. So let's go ahead and get started. I always like to go in the room and just put everything in its home and get tidied up. I also have to work on my laundry today, so I'm going to put that in my laundry room so I don't forget. So I'm a very firm believer in making sure everything has a home. It will make it so much easier to like tidy up or speed clean if you're not having to think like, where should I put this item? Should it go in this drawer? Should it go in that closet? Just know exactly where it belongs. And then when tidy up happens, you know right where to put it. When you need it, you know right where to go to get it. It also makes it helpful for family members so they're not always asking you for things or they can tidy up and help you as well. So definitely take that little tip into effect and I promise you it'll change your life with cleaning. Now I'm going to use my Thieves Cleaner. I know a lot of you guys are against this. Every time I use it, I get a lot of comments. I don't feel like there's a wrong way to clean. So you clean with what you want to clean and I'm going to clean my house with what I want to clean and I'm still comfortable using Thieves. I love it. I love the smell. I think it cleans just fine. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, I like that it's all purpose and I can clean almost everything. Now for my like windows and um, mirrors and stuff like that, I love to use my Jaws cleaner and then my e-cloth polishing rag, but everything else I'm gonna be using um, the Thieves just to wipe stuff down. Now I'm gonna work on my closet real fast. Most of all of this, I think actually all of it is clean. I had just taken it down and tried it on and didn't wanna wear it for the day. And that happened a few days in a row. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the hangers um, and hang those clothes up. These towels are for me taking a shower today. And then I do like to keep a pillow and a blanket right here in this chair. I answer a lot of my comments right there. I can kinda of hide away in that closet and people can't find me for a while. <laughs> so I can get a lot done. So, and I, I guess I get cold. I have blankets everywhere. I like to keep Keep them you know on our sofa on my work chair just wherever I sit just so I can cuddle up in them now you're gonna see me kind of going through my clothes I'm not decluttering I'm just kind of spacing out the hangers so it looks prettier um, I love to keep closet doors off because it keeps me motivated to keep my closet pretty so just kind of spacing out the hangers will make things look so much more organized Okay, now I'm gonna go into my bathroom. I'm not gonna show a lot of cleaning bathrooms. I don't know, I just don't like watching people clean bathrooms, so I try not to do long segments. But it had gotten dirty like behind the door and I just wanted to do a quick wipe down of like the countertop and the mirror. This is definitely a space I wanna work on. It's like on the list to like redecorate. It's not that big, so I can't do much to it, but like the cabinets need to be repainted, so I'm trying to decide what color I wanna do. Um, I'm trying to decide if I wanna take that big mirror down and do like a framed mirror, if I wanna put like a gold faucet in. I'm completely undecided, but this will be coming up in the future at some point. We're on the run. This is what we waited for.
As you can see, I'm just vacuuming my floor. I like to do this daily in here, um, especially the days that I like get ready and blow dry my hair because I'm sure my hair gets all over this floor. Um, George doesn't come in here too much, so I'm not really worried about like his fur in here, but just me getting ready, I like to just go ahead and get it done. And then I realized I got distracted and I never cleaned it behind the door. So I went ahead and went in there to go ahead and finish up cleaning. I don't know if you guys ever do that. I rarely get distracted. I normally have in my head exactly what I need to get done. And I think it helps because I am filming a cleaning video. So I normally have a list, but I forgot. And then I also forgot to add a trash can liner. I like to just use our Walmart sack so they kind of get recycled. And I always keep an extra one in the bottom, but this one had run out. You'll see the lid to it is gone. Chase took out this trash and I think the spinny part of the trash can lid got put in the trash can and he didn't realize it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the liner in this one over here by my makeup. Um, and as you can see, I just pulled it out from the trash can. So I like to keep a few underneath in the bottom. So when you take the bag out, there's one underneath. So when you go to get your Walmart grocery pickup, just put all of those in your trash cans and it'll save you time like having to store them too. And then here is a final look at how the room turned out. So now we're gonna go ahead and start in my laundry room. For the most part, it's under control. I had a few things to tidy up and I needed to start a load of laundry. I feel like I finally found a laundry routine that works for us. I was super struggling the last month or so. I learned to give all of us like small laundry baskets so we can't overflow them and they're, you know, manageable. And then each person is to bring me their basket when it's full. So I'm not having to constantly remember or forget. It's like Savannah and Chase, when that basket's full, they bring it to me and they leave it in the laundry room Room, and then I know to get it done throughout the day and it has been so helpful and after I'm done washing and drying their clothes I just put it back in their basket and put it in the bedroom and then they fold it and put it away um, I know not everybody can do this because your husband's maybe gone to work all day and I used to do Chase's laundry as well but now that he's home he can help out and then as far as Savannah goes she's 10 years old so she's able to help me more now and so it has just been a breath of fresh air I feel like I'm just not living laundry all day long so if you have older kids definitely try this out but like I said get a decent sized laundry basket where it's like when you finally do it it's not like two or three loads it's one loads worth and just throw it all in and then you're finished I'm gonna go ahead and start making my bed now. I like to speed this up just cause I know it can get boring watching somebody make their bed, but I always get a lot of questions when I show this angle. So just so you know, my bed is off Amazon and I have that in my Amazon store and the link is down below in my description box. And then that wreath is off Amazon as well. My comforter is from Kohl's. If they still have it, it was on clearance. I'll try to remember to link it. And then my curtains are from Target. My lamps are from Ross and then the nightstands that I'm about to wipe off right now are from Facebook Marketplace and I got those super cheap. I want to say it was like $15. Um, I'm showing you that little um, plate that I have next to my bed now. It has eyelashes on it, which I think is so cute. And at night, now that it, I don't have lash extensions, I go ahead and just pull off my eyelashes and put them right there on that plate so I don't lose them and it's perfect. But I'm just going to finish cleaning off these side tables now. Okay, so if I hoard anything, it's blankets and you're gonna see it here. This whole ottoman is full and I'm just cramming that one back in. I had done the laundry 
and I hadn't put it back in the ottoman. You can see it won't even shut. That is definitely something I need to organize and declutter soon. So hopefully that will be an upcoming video. Um, but I just love my blankets. I have them everywhere I sit. I talked about that earlier. I don't know what my obsession is with them, but they're just so cozy and they calm me down. Um, so I have a really hard time getting rid of comforters and Savannah likes to decorate like me and change out her room. And so when she picks out a new comforter, I just save her old one. And so I just have that um, ottoman full. So I definitely need to go through that soon. But now I'm just gonna wipe off my pictures right here. Sometimes they get dusty or fingerprints on them and I just like to give them a good cleaning. This is our master closet. If you haven't seen in here before, or if you're new, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum it. So Chase and I used to share this closet, but it just didn't go well. I really like having my own space because I like to keep my clothes organized. And then he just had so much more clothes than me. He needed the bigger closet. Um, and it worked out perfect because I was making an office and beauty room. So I decided to put all my clothes um, in that room as well. And it's nice now that it has the attached bathroom. It's just like one huge walk-in closet that I can get ready in. And then Savannah has the other whole side of the house. You'll see that coming up. She likes having her bedroom and playroom across from each other. And then she uses our guest bathroom, which rarely has guests in it, especially right now. So she just has like the whole right ring of the house. So it's just the perfect setup for us. This is a four bedroom, three bath, and it just seems perfect in our little dream home for us. So we love it. Um, I'm just gonna finish up by vacuuming and then I'll show you how this room turned out. It's been so long since I made Savannah's bed. She makes it every morning on her own. It's just kind of part of her chores. Um, but on this particular day, she hadn't made it. I try to give her days off, especially since we're in like quarantine and nobody's coming over. But she likes walking into a room with a bed made, just like her mama. And so I thought I would surprise her and make it for her. This isn't her normal comforter. She has like a pink one that matches the room, but she decided she was over it. And this is an old comforter that she found back there in the ottoman. And she put it on her bed. We're definitely gonna have to figure out this room if she wants purple or if she wants the light pink and grays. So I'm sure we'll be decorating this room soon, but she kind of likes change like me. Um, so I try to keep a lot of neutrals as far as like the bedding and the curtains and the dresser, and then we can add in her pops of color wherever we need to. Now we're gonna head into her playroom. This is another area she cleans on her own. Um, it just doesn't get that bad when it's beautiful outside just cause she's playing outside and not in here. Um, so that's helpful in the winter. It does look destroyed, so it's not always this clean. But I like to go in and just give it a good vacuum occasionally just cause she has snacks in here and lots of little toys. I just like to make sure the carpet's nice and fresh. Um, and you'll also see all her clothes are hanging back there. Um, that was my laundry basket that had like three dividers in it. I was getting rid of it because I felt like we were just holding so many dirty clothes by the time I would do laundry. It was just like overflowing and it would take me all day long. So that's when I decided to go down to the smaller laundry baskets and I was about to get rid of that and she came up with the idea all on her own to hang her doll clothes from there and we just cut old hangers from her bedroom like those are her same pink hangers we just cut them down thought it was a super neat idea so if you have a little girl that likes doll clothes and you don't know what to do with them I'll be showing you um, a clip of how it turned out.
I'm sick of love songs. I'm tired of this. And I wanna taste straight just like it is. Now I'm gonna start working on our living room. It never gets that bad at all. You can see me turning on the fan right there. That's um, like our air purifier, so it just helps with the smells, with the boys. And then I had some papers left out on my dresser, but other than that, there's just not a lot in here. We don't have a lot of shelves. We don't have knickknacks. It's basically some furniture with a few pieces of decor and some pillows and blankets. And I just like to keep it very simple. So even when it is kind of dirty, it doesn't look dirty. Um, I am gonna turn on my oil diffuser. I like to run this almost all day long. It's just super calming to me. I feel like it makes the house smell better. Um, one little trick for you is it always needs water and I got sick of like unplugging it and plugging it back in just to fill it up. So now I keep a water bottle right there in that drawer. I actually keep two, so I always have one on hand, but I wanted to show you, I just keep refilling that bottle. And then when I need it, all I have to do is open up the drawer and pull it. And then I also keep my oils in there as well, just so it's nice and convenient. You're watching me like you want me, but you still hold Now I'm gonna fill up just a jar or my measuring cup with water. I seriously cannot tell you the last time I watered my plant. You guys always wonder if you can keep your plants alive. Get some snake plants, I promise you. If I can keep these things alive, you can. I think I water them like maybe once a month um, just because I forget to do it and they're still beautiful and healthy. So trust me, if you don't think you have the green thumb, you can definitely keep snake plants. Now I'm gonna work on a fluffing my cushions. I definitely don't have to do this. I always get asked, do I have to do that to my sectional? It looks fine without it. I just like the grand look of it, like nice and fluffed, almost like it's on the um, storeroom floor. So I'm gonna work on that and work on my pillows. But I get a lot of questions about my window treatment, so I thought I would address that now. The white curtains are from Ikea. I bought them over four years ago, so I don't remember like the name of them, so I can't link them for you. Um, and then the bamboo shades are from Lowe's and you can have them cut to custom fit your window. So we needed three because that window was so long. So you can go into Lowe's and buy them and then they will cut them down for you. I usually use my Dyson with like the handheld attachment to vacuum my sofa, but if you follow us over on Instagram, um, Chase makes TikTok videos or creates them and he had made one um, doing like ping pong and he had my Dyson out there. If you guys saw it, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I grabbed my LG attachment, which I kind of forgot I had and it's made for dog hair. It worked so well. So I'll definitely be using this one more. I completely forgot about it. I just try to use both the LG and Dyson just to kind of break it up. But I was super impressed at how well this cleaned and picked up all George's like puppy fur hair that's coming off. So I wanted to remind you guys, you guys always ask me which vacuum I like more and I'm really leaning towards LG just across the board. Um, Dyson is awesome too and more affordable than the LG so you can't go wrong but I do love my LG vacuum. Um, here's the curtains, they are so long. I'm gonna have to hem these with that like no sew like ironing but I just keep forgetting to buy the stuff and then I haven't been out in stores lately so I just tuck them under just to kind of make them look more clean cut, not just like puddled on the ground. So that'll definitely be an upcoming video. I've been wanting to do that for like four years and never got around to it. So it's definitely on the list.
I'm headed into the kitchen now. There's always stuff out in my kitchen, always on my island. I can keep my living room clean, but you guys know a kitchen, there's just, everybody's always in there. There's always snacks going on and drinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start tidying yeah, up and putting so everything where it belongs. I'm gonna put this tray back outside. I like to keep it out here, but we had done a picnic for lunch um, over on our trampoline. So we had carried our food out on that just to make it easier. Um, and I had brought it into my kitchen. So I was just putting it back in there. And while I was out here, I thought I would go ahead and fix the pillows and then brush off any of the dirt. And then I'll head it back inside to finish working on my kitchen. Like oh na na, oh na na, yeah. When you're around, I know I hardly speak. You got me now, oh baby. You make it so hard for a guy like me, rocking those hips like nobody. So while I wipe down my countertops, I thought we'd talk about my kitchen cabinets. I have been getting a lot of questions about what color white they are. I have no idea. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about our bathroom cabinets as well. So when we found our home, it was about three months after the builder finished building it. So we didn't get to choose anything. Now the island color we did repaint and that's cadet blue. And then we've done a lot of additions. Like we've added all new hardware. I have to get a new pendant light. I just haven't found one I liked. We're slowly making changes, but some of those um, paint colors we just don't have. Um, you can see I picked up all my dirty cloths and I'm gonna throw them in the laundry room. And then I'm gonna head back into my kitchen area and grab the cleaner. I need to wipe it down my kitchen table. Um, we've been eating there a whole lot lately, so I feel like there's a lot of crumbs. Um, Savannah had done this little science experiment and we can't um, move this stuff for like, I think it was like three to five days. So you're just gonna kind of see me clean around it. Um, we're just trying to keep her entertained the best we can since there's not much to do and she's an only child. Um, while I was cleaning this, I remembered I still have not moved off the chairs and vacuumed underneath it. Um, I talked about this in a few cleaning videos ago that I was going to do it. I still haven't, so I thought it was probably about time. Typically, the attachment that I use to vacuum all of our carpets and rugs, I just leave on and do our wood floors, but it actually has a wood floor attachment, and I'm going to show you right here. It's kind of like velvet. It's actually so much better for our wood floors. Like, it doesn't scratch them, and I feel like it picks up more, but sometimes I'm just lazy, and I don't want to go switch it, but it is super easy to do. I guess I was just super motivated this day to keep switching out all the attachments, and so I put it on, and I'm going to kind of show you how it works, but it really is a lot better for your wood floors. So I'm super impressed with these um, cordless vacuums. I always get questions, did I save my other vacuum that has a cord? I did for a while and I never reached for it. I kept it for like three or four months and I never used it. So I finally got rid of it. 
These are such a lifesaver and you'll actually clean your floors so much more just because it's easier to grab. You don't have to plug it in. You don't have to wind it. You don't have to unwind it. I don't know. They're just so easy. So if you're in the market, both are great vacuums. Um, they're both, they're a little bit pricier than like the corded vacuum kinds, but if it's in your budget or you're looking for a Mother's Day gift or whatever it is, the Dyson is a little more affordable. It's amazing. It's what I used for years, but I did um, probably about a year ago, got this LG and I just love the features on it. The battery lasts longer. You get a backup battery. Um, I love the attachments it comes with. So I will have both of those linked in my Amazon store if you want to check them out. Now I'm gonna mop my floors real quickly. I've actually never mopped my floors this way. I'm still using my same e-cloth mop, which means you only need water to clean. But normally I stick that mop head like in the water and rinse it out and then mop. I thought I'd go ahead and just try using their spray bottle um, to clean. And I will say um, it's not as wet. So if your floors are super, super dirty, definitely go ahead and get it the mop head wet and clean that way. But if you're just needing like a quick clean or one air Area, or you don't want them super wet like if kids are gonna be running through or if you have people coming over and you don't want them to look super wet when they come in but they needed to be clean this is definitely the way to go they dried so much faster um, so I was super impressed I've never cleaned them this way I will say if they are super dirty you do need to get it wet or just spray more um, on that area but I just thought I would change it up and I actually was impressed Okay, and here's the after of how everything turned out. I love having clean bedrooms, but having a clean kitchen and dining room and living room is just so calming to me. I like to like go outside for a little bit and then walk back into like a nice, clean, spotless house. Um, it smells pretty because I have my oils going. I don't know, it's just the best calming feeling in the world. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm not gonna lie, I am exhausted. That's like the deepest clean or longest clean I've done in a really long time. I've just been so focused on like um, projects and DIYs and outside and finishing up homeschool. This house just needed a really good clean from one side to the other. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I hope you found some motivation in it to get up and clean your house. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.